What's up, everyone? Gauss is in the house. Here we go. So today we're doing the the boss level of the second world of Gauss World. 2B, Newton's second law of motion. Accelerate and carry your momentum through to the end. Yahoo! Okay, so this level is a combination of all the previous tricks in World 2. Everything combined together in one level plus a boss battle at the end. So let's take a look at it. Okay, so we start off here. We got some spin jumps. We got some bomb spins over to a thwomp. Down to a smaller thwomp that has a parachute. Ooh, I should have put markers for the parachutes. Okay, so we got the markers in place. We got a couple of thwomps. You gotta move along them. Jump up onto the claw. And then we got some sliding section. Grab the, uh, jump into this claw. Go, go over, grab the Yoshi, bounce your way back. Then grab a fireball. And get through all of these Piranha Plants, and then another Yoshi platforming section here, and then we ride that Thwomp all the way this way. Another slide and duck underneath to here, and then we jump through these blocks, and we gotta drop Yoshi again like how we did in the Yoshi Ghost House level. Once we get through there, that's the first checkpoint, and now we got a tower climb. Okay, so we got a bomb ladder, some bomb tricks, some more spin jumps, um, and more slidey stuff. Enter in the door on the icicle, which then drops us down to here to do some more nice platforming with fire and all this other good stuff and more spin jumps and everything. And uh, then we got to go into this door through this icicle. Okay, now for this section. <laughs> This section, you gotta you gotta toss the shell, Z jump off of it, make your way to the right side, hit the switch, make your way back left, grab Yoshi, and then work your way up with Yoshi along the saw blades. Once you get to the top, then you have a boss fight with Yoshi. For this boss fight, you have to grab the fire, bounce your way over to here, hit the bomb. The bomb will explode, which will activate the P switch. Then you jump off of Yoshi to hit this switch. That will bring this bob bomb down. You'll do another bomb ladder to kick it that way. And once you're done with that, then you gotta slide through this last section here and get through the door. Once you're through the door, that's the level. Time for the clear check. Let's go.
Okay. This one... This one, I did find a, some a soft lock and some other cheese that I'm glad that I got rid of. But I also found a really neat shortcut, which I decided to keep in. Uh, so let's take a look at what changes I made. And we'll go over any tips if you're having uh, trouble or getting stuck at any point of the level. Okay, so to start off, this part up here. Uh, when you're doing the bomb jumps, I put these here so that if you hold jump the whole time, it should let you through without exploding on you. Um, I, I noticed that sometimes if I hit the jump really low or I didn't hit it right on top, then I would it would still blow up on me. Um, you could also just time the jumps so that when the explosion goes off, you're higher up if you don't just hold it. But if you do hold it, it should let you through. If it doesn't, just give it another shot. Um, all right, this, play, this part's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I think depending on the speed at which you get through the previous section and this section, uh, this fire bar may be swinging at you. It happened to me once. It didn't happen to me any other time. Just one time. Once or twice, maybe. So then you go on the you go on the claw, you swing back, you grab Yoshi over there, then you come back and use the fire bar. You can just stand on the spike here, grab the fire, and kill all of these prana plants. Now, when I went through the section, I grabbed this block, this block, that block, and then jumped over to here. Um, remember to grab the fire because you'll need it later, uh, a little bit later on. Um, this thwomp will move as soon as you drop on it, and it moves fast. You got a marker right here to let you know when to jump. Now, this part didn't have anything blocking, so I realized if you're Yoshi, you can just walk across the top. So I had to, had to block the top. No cheese there. Um, you continue along here. I, I don't know. If, so if you ride the thwomp. If you ride the swamp all the way over, I don't think you can do anything, but just to be sure, you get caught in here, so don't try riding the thwomp. <laughs> um, so the fireball that you got from before, it was going to be used to hit this bomb, then you hit the switch, Yoshi goes into the pipe, you don't got to worry about Yoshi, you'll see him later. Then you continue through here. Now what's nice about this section is that you can reset the bomb, uh, if you mess up the bomb ladder. I believe this jump took eight bounces so on the eighth bounce i did a big jump to get up to the next part it's time just so that when you get the bomb in this platform will, will appear now if you somehow manage to get the bomb there and activate this platform but you don't make it up there and you still survive somehow you can just do the bomb ladder again and not hit the switch and then you can bounce off of this bomb to get up there so, uh, nothing wrong with that then you bounce over here, you gotta bounce quickly before these these icicles fall on you. Uh, for here, I found if I went to... There's times I went really fast, and then these icicles didn't appear back. So definitely take a few bounces here before you jump over to the left. And then you can go into the ice... You can go into the, on the icicle through the door. I think you could theoretically go on this icicle and go in the door there. I haven't done it, but it could save time if you're trying to go for speedrun strats. <laughs> so for this section, uh, yeah, it's mostly about patience, just getting through, jumping on the donut blocks while you're uh, waiting for the fire to go by. Um, you do have to do this bottom section quick, but once you get over here, you can kind of take a breather. What I didn't notice and what I found, I think I got it on the clear check, on one of the clear checks, is you can jump here, 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 and then jump on this block. This fire bar will be out of the way. This will drop down, and then the the fire cycle should be just so that you can stop. You can stand and jump on here, and then do a big jump as this one as this icicle is reappearing. So you don't have to go this way. I don't know if it's the biggest skip, but it's there nonetheless. If you want to try it out, there it is. I pointed it out just for you guys. Um, now on this jump here, this jump is. Uh, you gotta get a good good swing going, and you're not gonna go too high, but you gotta be going fast. <laughs> and it's just a matter of, uh, it's a, the smallest Z jump, but you gotta do it at the right time. And then you gotta, and then you do a big jump at the end to, to get out of there. Um, again, this is, uh, this is straightforward. Get over to the end. If you get over to here, you can wait for the icicles to reappear and go back into the door. Now for this section, so I had a similar thing where you had the spiky and you had to kick it and then jump on it. 
But I realized if you just put the helmet on, then you could just run through and damage boost, then that's no good. So I ended up changing up the section a little bit so that there's a cannon that shoots it out. You can't put your helmet on. And um, it does go a little bit slower. Maybe it's a little bit easier. It's a little bit different than kicking it. It does move slower, but same concept, same similar trick. Um, then you get over this way, you hit that, you come over this way, uh, you grab Yoshi. Um, one way here so you don't have to worry about the spikes. Um, see, look, Yoshi came back, he came back through the pipe. He was, he was, he was just meeting you later down the line. And come over this way. All right, and this section is just more Yoshi platforming. Uh, once you get the, the physics down with the saws and the Yoshi bounces, that, that this part is pretty straightforward. Um, and then I got another Yoshi egg up here for the checkpoint. Okay, so now for the boss fight. So the boss fight, you de you absolutely need Yoshi. You cannot do it without it, without him. Um, when you grab Yoshi, let me show you. So when you have Yoshi, and you start off, you're completely safe right here. When these rings will not hit you, the balls won't knock you to the side, and you can just keep bouncing. Take your time with this boss. It, 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 wow. I just lied. <laughs> Every time I was playing, it didn't hit me. All right, so you may have to watch out for the Wendy ring. But anyway, you gotta grab, you gotta grab the fire over here. Hit the uh, bob bomb over here. Now, for sure, you're definitely safe when you're bouncing here. That much I can say. Be careful not to grab the P block, uh, the P switch, because you'll screw yourself. You, I, unless you can kind of fix it somehow, there's not really any way around that. Once the bomb explodes, the muncher will fall down, the P-Switch will uh, be activated, and then you actually have to jump off of Yoshi to hit this, uh, hit the on-off switch up here. That will create the floor, and then the bomb drops down. So for this bomb spin, I think, I would say, I think it was about, I think it was five, five bounces, five jumps. It's a little bit harder to do than the other bomb ladder, but you don't have to do a big jump at the end of it. If you... If you manage to uh, uh, bounce off, as long as you don't hit this muncher on your way down, then you can just hop back up here, wait for the switch to switch back, and then this claw will come down. You can swing from the claw into the icy section. Um, as long as you get enough speed, and even if you stop right around here, you can still run and save yourself and get to the ending. Um, I have this little contraption set up. <laughs> I have this little contraption set up at the bottom to get Yoshi to the end. However, there have been instances where, depending on how you drop Yoshi, if he's just hanging out right there, the muncher may actually kill him. <laughs> but two out of three of the clear checks I did, Yoshi survived. I think that's good enough. <laughs> and once you get through the door, then you can uh, do some fireworks um, or not. You don't have to. It's your own. It's your own choice whether you grab the fire and go through there or if Yoshi dies then you unfortunately can't see the fireworks here but you still get the second key and which will let you finish the level and so that does it for the boss uh, that does it for the last level of world 2 of Gauss world so up next we have I believe we have the speedrun world so 3-1 is going to be speedrun versions of the previous two worlds. So if you like this video and you want to see those, you should hit that like button on this video and then on that other video when it comes out. And you should also get subscribed so you know when to hit the like like button on the, the, the new video because you, you know what I'm saying. Do all that good stuff. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Take care.